All right, what's up guys? We're here with the Genshin 1.5 update live stream. I'm here with Rez, since they obviously play Genshin a bunch. They got me into Genshin, and we excited. We ready to go. There better be houses, and there better be a lot more. Let's go. I'm ready. Once upon a time, two twins traveled together throughout the universe. But one day, their path was blocked, and they were separated by an unknown god. Ether! Lumin! And now, the two you of see them these are captions? finally reunited <laughs> in the Genshin Impact <laughs> version 1.5 special program! Let's go! <laughs> Zongli rerun, let's go. Welcome, everybody. I'm Zach Aguilar, and I voice the male traveler, Ether. in Oh, they Genshin brought the Impact. female traveler. Hey, everyone. I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, and I voice the female traveler, Lumine. Dang, no, it's so no great Paimon. that we're together for this program, especially Butters since our characters together. finally had a chance to meet in version 1.4. I know. Tell me about it. I'm so glad that they invited me to the show. I've always been super curious about what it's like to do a special program. It always looked like you and Karina were having so much fun in the previous ones. <laughs> hey, that's what the special program's all about. And today certainly won't be an exception, as we are joined by... Keith Silverstein. That's not me. Oh, I like that trumpet there. Very nice. <laughs> That's Hi, definitely my you. Yes, because of my first name, yes. Zhong Li, consultant for the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor in Genshin Impact. <laughs> that is such a yes, cool Mr. voice, though. Zhong Li himself, who, spoiler alert, is really Morax. Ladybug. That's the Archon, hmm. widely respected as Rex Lapis, the god of contracts himself. Whew, talk about a list of titles. And that is exactly why I leave the introductions to you, Zach. Honestly, it's so hard to express how much we love your performance in the game, Keith. And by we, I obviously mean myself and a lot of other players. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God. It is, uh, it is really an honor to uh, play a role that's loved by so many, myself included, of course. And uh, come on, how exciting is this? I, I'm so excited that I'm doing a version preview with you guys. This is throwing me off so yeah. much. So why don't we take a quick moment to thank our viewers for joining us today and for their amazing support of Genshin Impact. Yes, thank you. Thank I've gone broke. So <laughs> so <laughs> I'm much, kidding. Everyone. Yes, big thank you to the entire hey, Genshin Bo, is the game over Thanks since, for your uh... support. <laughs> Since he found so, his brother Keith, and sister, yeah, what they found each other. Genshin Impact so far. Well, I mean, we all know it's an amazing game. I mean, uh, right off the bat, it's beautiful. You know, the graphics, the character design, everything. What he's saying like, is he doesn't play the really game. Really <laughs> when somebody starts just, like that. this game is so popular worldwide, and uh, I mean, it's such an honor to be a part of something like that. Totally agree. I've loved interacting with the fan base myself, and. Currently, I'm still on the grind. Uh, I just love mm. the gameplay. The graphics are absolutely beautiful. And I also love playing the game on my phone whenever I can't get to my PC. Okay, okay, Genshin Impact Mobile. What have you oh. enjoyed the most in version 1.4 so far? Ooh, you know, that's... Uh, it's so tough because I love all the mini games, but I think my favorite one is Ballads of Breeze. And I just love getting out my lyre to that, that rhythm I game. travel around to that. And yeah, I love the rhythm little game. songs. Nothing made me have <laughs> a stroke. That's pretty cool. Sharing my musical genius. <laughs> well, let's not let's not go too far there, Zach. I mean, I'm sure you're good and all, but uh, genius. Yeah, I'm sure you're great. Uh, anyways, I believe many of our viewers are waiting to hear more about what's in store for version 1.5. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So why don't we start things off with a quick overview? Sounds great. Take it away, Zach. You got it. In version 1.5, we'll have some brand new characters, several cool new monsters, mm -hmm. and various special events. Okay. We'll also have an all new feature to explore. And as always, oh. there will be some optimizations and adjustments to our overall gaming experience. Listen, nerf Amber. Oh, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from all the new content, Genshin Impact is also having its native release for PlayStation 5 on April 28th. Hey. The same day version 1.5 comes online. So it's definitely exciting. Sorry. Totally. It's great news for our PlayStation 5 players out there. Sorry about that. Yeah. We'll oh, get a first glimpse of version 1.5 from the trailer. <clears throat> but before we get to that, I'd like to remind our viewers that we'll be April giving away redemption codes throughout the stream. April 28th. In terms of Primo Gems, we have <laughs> Primo Gems. <laughs> yeah, that is hilarious. Just remember that they might appear at any time during the show, so be sure to stick around for those. The way he okay, says Primo now Gems. Now let's take a first look at the official trailer for Genshin Impact version 1.5. Let's go, April 28th. The light. Of Jadeite. Let's the go. The TV version is so cute. Mm -hmm. I am so hyped. Oh, <gasps> it's the girl who said it. We will meet again.
It must have been about four or five days ago. There were a few men who came through here carrying baskets and pigs. I guess that could have been them. We get an edgy. And there was a child staggering in front of them. Oh my god. Oh my god. The kid's <laughs> evil. This is I, Aztaha, forged of elemental crystal. Oh my god. That voice acting. You yeah. stand upon your tomb. Look at that toad. This music though. Quake! There is a fine line between good and evil. Okay. This is order. It was humanity that attacked the ley lines that sustained me. So here lies the wisdom of the gods. Listen, this is about to be an easy gods. fight. Just spams on these all <laughs> come on. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Ooh. Ready for trial. Yan Cryo Wait. Inadmissible evidence. Ooh. Well, I guess I've mastered both the pen and the sword. People tell me that if I just spoke more softly. I know people are simping for this girl. <clears throat> You a lot, right? Cryo is just hammered. I mean, she looks cool. I condemn you. Freeze to the core. She's better, Chung Yun. <laughs> They've been waiting. Oh, is that the new Miss Herald? Yeah, electric. Vengeance that looks pretty sick. Oh okay, god, oh god. I must contain myself. <clears throat> this. Serenity pot is all yours now. Old lady? Miss Ping? Beto? Oh, you needn't worry oh, about the that. pot is the house. I've already <laughs> arranged for a oh. to await you within this teapot. She will explain everything you need to know about it. Oh, that's so. This is the house thing. They finally add the houses. It's about time. Oh, that's actually cool. That's a, wow. I didn't expect them to do it like this. That's wow. That's way too big. <laughs> <laughs> you could have the the jade chamber or whatever thing. You know what I'm talking about. The thing that got destroyed. Oh wow. That's actually pretty crazy. Huh. I wonder what they'll let you do in the house. Okay. Imagine you're like, alright, in the Zuma or not. I'll be like 1.6, 1.7 though. I'm hyped though. That PS5 update and 1.5. <clears throat> wow, so this is uh, how this works. <laughs> this is The Sims. <laughs> oh my god, it really is The Sims. People are gonna spend so much time doing this. I'll be spending my time doing that. I'm gonna just have a little box to live in. What the heck is that? Increasing elemental burst? What is this, a new event? Battlefront Miss Misty Dungeon. Dungeons. Okay. Hopefully it's challenging. Ooh, some type of puzzle? What is that? <laughs> what? Is this Prothan? <laughs> Solid snake. Wait, is it? It's fucking Prothan! <laughs> what in the hell? Track Hillichurls down? Oh, track unusual Hillichurls. Hmm. Over mastery, we're flowing. Hang out, see. Okay, let's go, Diona. Ah, uh, Diona! <laughs> New artifacts. There it is. There it is. Okay, wait. I need to read. The okay, I'll read it later. <laughs> <laughs> Who can read that? I have to check. That oh, they'll out. be explaining it. They'll be explaining. Oh, that's true. That's true. But yeah, Diona. Who else is gonna be in there? Wow, there was a lot going on in that trailer. It mm -hmm. looks like Zhang Li is gonna have a new storyline here with a super tough-looking dragon to fight. So be careful out there, Zach.
it, it, hey, I've leveled up a lot since the last version. Uh -huh. This dragon's got nothing on me. Yeah, sure, Zach. You really expect us to believe that? <laughs> Personally, I'm excited for these new characters. They look super cool. Yeah, and that sounds like a solid place to start, so why don't I begin by introducing the new characters first? Sounds Ooh. good to me. Yunfei? Okay, okay. Oh, it's her, Yula. Mm-hmm. Well, okay, they, oh, okay. <laughs> they know what they're doing. I was going to say that exact line that you just said. They they knew. They're like, yep, get, get that wallet out real quick. We know you want those Primo gems. Okay, oh, uh, her movement, though. Uh, she's she's like wielding it like a sword, not a Yeah, sword. I thought it was a normal... <clears throat> I thought it was a normal sword. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she look cool though. Listen, I don't need to spend more money on this game. Uh, it's female Chung Yoon or Chung Yoon's sister. <laughs> all right then, I'll teach you. Oh yes, I'll teach you all right. Mark my words. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing our new playable character, Eula, captain of the Knights of Favonius Reconnaissance Company. She carries a cryovision and elegantly wields her frosty claymore. Yeah, the way she handles her weapon is truly amazing. Yeah. Like she even did a cartwheel with her sword. With the claymore. No wonder she's called the Spindrift Knight. Yeah, her combat style really stands out. Um, forget fighting. Her style is more like dancing or gymnastics. Yeah. Seriously. It, you don't even feel like you're using like a claymore. claymore wielders at all. Her motions are way lighter and more fluid. Yeah. Perhaps oh that's God. a result of the training passed down through her aristocratic bloodline. Oh, she's a descendant of the family that was once overthrown by the Knights of Favonius, right? Mm-hmm, that is correct. Ooh, I'm sensing a complex backstory here. Now the question comes, why would she be serving in the Knights of Favonius? I don't know, for revenge? Maybe, I don't know. Well, <laughs> then, although you often I was going to say, is this scripted? Others, well, something this obviously has to be. But... As strange as it sounds, <laughs> it's just her own way of expressing care for other people. Let's have a look at her skills, shall we? Okay. Yes, please. With her elemental skill, Ice Tide Vortex, Eula slashes swiftly, dealing cryo damage. However, her elemental skill has different effects depending on whether you tap or hold the skill button. What? Ooh, interesting. Tell us more. Oh, it's a yeah. Oldie. When tapping the elemental skill, Eula gains a stack of Grimheart by hitting an opponent. Grimheart increases Eula's defense and resistance to interruption. Oh. Sounds cool for a Claymore wielder. What will happen if we hold her elemental skill then? I was hoping you would ask that. When the skill is held, Eula consumes the stacks of Grimheart, and surrounding opponents will have their physical resistance and cryo resistance decreased. Oh. Now, each stack of Grimheart consumed Ooh. will be converted into an Ice World brand that deals cryo damage to nearby opponents. <laughs> Ooh, I'm loving her Grimheart mechanic already. Oh. Yeah, me too. Eula's elemental burst, Glacial Illumination, deals cryo damage to nearby opponents and creates a Lightfall sword that follows her around for a certain duration. When her own normal attacks, Ooh, elemental skill and elemental burst deal damage to opponents, they will charge the Lightfall sword until it explodes violently <laughs> once its duration ends. <laughs> Explosive icy sword. Okay. Wow. That's that sounds that seems almost good. like a contradiction. I mean, ice that explodes? Mm -hmm. It's like mixing opposites. Mm -hmm. Right? But it's somehow fitting for her character, you know? A noble heir who joins the family's arch enemy, <clears throat> who moves elegantly but causes violent explosions, who manipulates cryo element but is called the Spindrift Knight. She's full of contradictions. Nice, Sarah. That's pretty deep. Thanks. <laughs> hey, why don't we take a look at our next new playable character in yeah. version 1.5? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eula. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we just Eula looked at Eula. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, bro. I have to get every fire character. I'm gonna have to get. You got a simp for her. Man. Well, let's see what she can do. She's tossing that fire. She's the only, she's the second uh, fire catalyst user, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's an actual fire catalyst. Yeah, not just throwing bombs like Klee. Huh? Huh? Need a cure for insomnia? Yanfei. Hmm. 
Let me read you the history of the development of Liwe's legal system. None of my friends have ever lasted longer than 20 minutes. The other new playable character mm -hmm. in version 1.5 is Yenfei, a legal advisor active in Liwe Harbor. She's a catalyst wielder and holds a pyrovision. Interestingly enough, she happens to be part illuminated beast. Oh, huh? just like Ganyu. Huh? Oh. Exactly. So, are those two sticks on her head her version of horns, or are they more like antlers? Wait, I thought those were her pigtails, no? Oh, no. I didn't even notice that, that so now. Oh, oh my those god. Those are the symbol of her illuminated beast heritage. Oh. Okay, so question. I didn't even that notice that. Yeah, I didn't. Lapis, then, it was so subtle, would man. she be bound by a contract with Morax in some way? You mean like as a legal advisor for the god of contracts? That would be quite the big title, but yeah, something like that? Even Morax doesn't have command of all the Illuminated Beasts. Yenfei is one of the few that didn't sign a contract with him. Mm, oh, why free is agent. that? <laughs> she was born in a peaceful era. Therefore, there was no need for her to fight in any cruel wars like her predecessors. Interestingly, as a free Illuminated Beast, she's put herself in a profession where her job is to interpret laws and help others deal with conflicts and disputes. Mm. Okay, so her work is all related to contracts, right? Because I know I saw some sort of gigantic pyro stamp slamming down when she attacks. You know, like the kind of thing you'd see used to stamp a contract? Mm-hmm. You are correct. Both her normal attack, her elemental skill signed edict, and her elemental burst done deal grant her scarlet seals, which decrease Yen Fei's stamina consumption. Mm -hmm. But these scarlet seals are not the big seal you saw. Oh, so the scarlet seals must have been all those little red markings floating around her. That's right. When she uses her charged attack, Yen Fei consumes all Scarlet Seals, which in turn increase her charged attack's area of effect and damage. Okay. Oh, so that's what I saw. It sure was. Oh, uh, one thing uh, I forgot to mention is that Yula and Yen Fei have some special connections to one another. Uh, hmm? what would a knight in Mondstadt have to do with a legal advisor in the <laughs> Harbor? Sounds like, Sounds like a mystery. Yes, your sister's indeed. not a knight. <laughs> One which the travelers will get to discover on their own. <laughs> Why are you talking like that? Um, rude. Leave it to us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, us. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you two. And that's all the latest we have on the new characters. Wait a minute. Didn't you forget something? Uh, oh, long I don't think so. You know, I, I have a pretty Houses. good memory, Zach. <laughs> Zach, <we're gonna laughs> ask where we'll get to pull these adorable new characters from, right? Oh, oh show we'll me the banner. To that, all, all in good time. Right now seems to be a good time for us to give away our first redemption code. Oh, Let's go. Now? Okay. <laughs> like I said, you never know when they'll appear. Precisely. The first code will be unearthed in three, two, two. one. All right. Hey. Screenshot that. I don't need the screenshot. It. All I had to do is just type. It. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> no, I'm actually typing it down in the Genshin Impact. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm saying screenshot it for me. What the heck? Why would you need to screenshot it for you? Because I'm on my PC. Okay, you know what? I'll just take a picture of it. All right, I already did it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. We got the two new characters. We got the housing um, system that I know they're gonna go into detail with. Um, Zhongli. Hey, Vo. What? Are you gonna go enter the Zhongli fan made art contest? Oh. You think I can draw? You don't <laughs> get a stick figure. That's not all you're gonna get out of me, Zhongli fan made <laughs> Just draw art. a meteor. <laughs> it's gonna look like a meatball. Just draw a stick figure with his arm crossed. It's gonna look like a meatball. <laughs> I'm not doing that. It seems only fitting to collect some rewards before we talk about event wishes in version 1.5. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, all right. There it is. You guys are anxious to hear more. Zhongli. In version 1.5, oh, the two a five star characters, star. Zhongli and Yula, will appear successively in their own separate event wishes. Many of the players have been waiting for Zhongli's return, and it's finally happening. The I mean... players have been waiting. I've been waiting. <laughs> okay, to elaborate, <laughs> Yen Fei will be featured in Zhongli's event wish, Gentry of Hermitage. Okay. The exact dates and durations for the event wishes will be officially announced later. So I'll, I'll try to get Zhongli again. A new five-star weapon and two sets of new artifacts will also be released in version 1.5. Yes. Yeah, Ooh. she looks very cool. That new claymore looks pretty ornate. It sort of reminds me of the five-star bow Elegy for the End from version 1.4. 
Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, good observation. Now, this new five-star claymore is called Song of Broken Pines, and it has a physical damage bonus. It has quite a poetic name, too. You see that first I artifact set right there? The same yeah, I do. For the mm -hmm, that perhaps. is meant for Zongli. Mm -hmm. There may even be a hidden I just story got the Zongli there. artifacts, too. Ooh, I already feel a story coming. <laughs> You know, whatever you <laughs> I just grinded story, all just this wheat for it. those artifacts. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. Uh, let me guess, it's a very epic and long story. Ah, yes, a very long story. <laughs> really that means for Noel too, I'm gonna have to switch them. Look, aside from the weapons, there will be two sets Actually, of artifacts for players to collect. That tenacity of the Millilith and it, it's Pale more like for Zongling. Ooh, awesome! Okay. Where can we get them? If past updates are any indication, my bet would be that they'll be in a new domain. Yeah. And that is correct. Mm -hmm. The new domain, Ridge Watch, will be available to Ridge travelers Watch. after the version of Oh, it's located over there. The Finally! Area that connects <laughs> Mondstadt and Liyue. Finally! We're getting a teleport waypoint there. That's always been one of the harder areas for players to reach. She read my yeah, mind. I bet mm. a lot of people have used their portable waypoints to get there. Now we can I have those for some other places. <laughs> in addition to the new gear, some new storylines will be released too. After the version 1.5 update, Diona's hangout event and Act oh, Noel's hangout event will be available I don't even think I did Noel's enjoy. first one yet. <laughs> that is so sweet. I did I really Barbara's and Chung Yoon's, but I didn't do Noel. the other two yet. Okay, but Noel, that's not the yes. only Act 2 we're getting in version 1.5. Ooh. Act 2 of Zhang Li's story quest Ooh. will be released in the update as well. Followed by Yula's own story quest. Wow, I already can't wait to see more of Zhang Li's story. They're gonna make us go broke, right? Can you tell us more about what's gonna happen, Keith? Well, as you saw in the trailer, the yeah, dragon he... aged up, <laughs> who seems to have some, let's say, history with Zhang Li, will be making an appearance in Zhang Li's story quest. Mm. Sounds interesting, but uh, who exactly is this aged up? Oh, it was mentioned in the quest about the nameless treasure. Seems like Mr. Zhang Li's past is finding its way back to him. Mm. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. <laughs> meeting those who share the memory leaves an indescribable I've heard that stupid line so much. Sarah, look, it's him. Ah, it is. <laughs> you guys. Okay. In a word, Ejdaha is going to play an important role in Zhang Li's story quest. And the disturbance it causes will also pose a serious threat to Liu. Furthermore, this dragon will become a weekly boss. So, oh, let's take a closer look at a new battle. weekly boss. Oh boy. They, okay, they're gonna have to give us more resin. They do realize that, right? <laughs> like, you can't just throw us another weekly boss and not give us, like, they have to put the resin cap up. Have to. Oh, uh, you gotta wait till in the Zuma to increase How that are they gonna throw cap. another weekly boss at us then? How much, like, we have to grind for new artifacts also now. Like, they're gonna have to oh, raise Oh, I'm very set. I mean, I got, like, a, a few fragile resin, but still. <clears throat> this monster looks cool though. I gotta use shields. Use mm. shield characters. <laughs> Zongli. I gotta upgrade Noel. Alright then. I don't know. It actually looks kinda cute. Mm. Uh oh, Sarah wants a new pack now. It's not cute. Look at that <laughs> bad ass. Like it's gonna rip off my head. <laughs> no! I mean, it's got that little cute smirk happening. I think it's kind of cute. Oh, that's true. Right? And and mm. it's got those branches on its tail. And and remember this place? There was a girl standing under a tree mumbling about the awakening of some most awe-inspiring Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Remember? Oh, right. Yeah, so she was talking about Ejdaha. She was. Beneath the tree, or as it's called, the Dragon Queller, is the cavern where Ejdaha was sealed away. This new monster reminds me of Geo Bishops. Absolutely. They have plenty of similar traits. As a boss, Ejdaha can change its element, mm. hence the different colors you see on its body. Mm -hmm. It seems like when it switches its element, the surroundings and the domain change too. That's pretty sick. Oh, looks like there will yeah, be a variety just like a of conditions tail. for us to deal with. Ooh, are you excited, Zach? Better have different characters well, ready for that. With all the lessons I've learned from fighting Geo Bishops, I'm confident that I can crush this Lord of Bishops. Good mm. luck, Zach. You're the man. <laughs> okay, the next new monster we're about to meet will be a new member of the hypostasis family, the cryo hypostasis. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's see in action. I, I mean, I, we need a new uh, ice yeah. boss in the dragon spine. Oh, see, there's finally something to do in dragon spine.
Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Look at that. <laughs> that is. Now, like I said, can we get a you know a resin increase, please? Yeah. Oh wait, I gotta farm this for Eula. Yeah. If they let you get you, this reaches low HP. Uh, it enters shut a up. shield to protect itself and recover from the damage. In the meanwhile, it attacks its enemies, which means us. Huh? But it seems like we'll never be able to finish it off if we can't break the shield. So how can we take its shield down? Oh, I know the answer to this one. Travelers will need to figure it out on their own in version 1.5. Mm. <laughs> and with that, the apprentice has become the master. <laughs> yes, you are getting the idea. And there's one other new enemy we're going to see in version 1.5. Really? Perhaps you two remember the Abyss Herald we encountered Electric in version 1.4? Oh, you mean that gigantic blue dude that works for me? Well, mm. technically, he would be my gigantic blue dude if you are the traveler. Oh, okay, sorry. Mm. Seriously, do you guys <laughs> bicker about everything? Yes. <laughs> anyway, it, it turns out that another one of the Abyss Order's elite monsters will be making a debut in version 1.5. The Abyss Lector. Let's take a look, Abyss shall we? Lector? A Lector. I mean, he look cool. Look at that. That content. Music be doom. Albedo? <laughs> Who plays Albedo? <laughs> I forgot I had Albedo. Him. I legit forgot that I have this character, bro. I'm about to trigger all One the Albedo fans. Noted is that some of the Abyss Lector's <laughs> attacks will decrease characters' elemental energy once they hit their opponents. Oh, so yeah. Be sure to I, dodge those. Like if only it was that easy. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. All right, Zach. I know you well enough. What are you thinking <laughs> about over there? <laughs> well, the Abyss Herald we met before was like an assassin, whereas this Abyss Lector we see now seems more like a mage. The Herald could manipulate the Hydro Element, while the Lector manipulates the Electro Element. Now that I think about it, what if I could put them on my team? Mm. Well, I mean, yeah, practically speaking, that would make a very good team. <laughs> well, that, uh, that would be, be Child thinking. and Mona. <laughs> hmm. I'm sure the Lost Siblings said, Wait, I no, will Lisa. have order. <laughs> And now we have the Abyss Order! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's everything we have for our new monsters. So next, we okay. will get a peek of an all-new permanent feature called House. Serena Teapot, which will be available starting in version 1.5. Yes. Zach, I'll leave this part to you. Got it. After we help the city get through its crisis, the Adepti of Liyue have taken note of our hard work. Knowing we are outlanders who often camp out in the wilds, they decided to give us a Serena teapot as a gift. Mm. Serena Camping teapot. in the wilds? Zach, we never camp. Yeah, we, we Finally. just keep adventuring through the night. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a hobo <laughs> anymore. Serena teapot. <laughs> I like the name. So is this Serena teapot sort of like Madam Ping's magical teapot? Yeah, it's what's known as a realm within. Ooh, it sounds exciting. That was really nice of them. I hope it wasn't too difficult to make. Well, the Adepti of Liu are mighty illuminated beings with great power. Creating a realm within oh. is nothing but creating a little trinket for them. Keith, you sound so cool. Hmm. Uh, you anyways. sound cool. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a closer look inside this so-called teapot. Oh, the end. For starters, there are three different realm layouts for us to choose from. Dang, where am I going to go? Floating Abode, Emerald Peak. And cool Isle. I don't know what to choose. Wow, so this is what the Adepti would consider just a I like the floating in mode. <laughs> Inside the realm, you'll find Tubby, a teapot <gasps> spirit who manages Tubby. all the general affairs <laughs> in the realm within. Tubby! Mm, just like a Tubby! Boy. Oh my gosh, Tubby is so round and cute! Oh my god. I love it! And it plays an important role in our realm, too. <laughs> when we get <laughs> rank, it will give us some rewards and unlock new fire features fire for our realm. Oh my for example, god. three different realm layouts. We'll have to increase our trust rank if we want to unlock the back is trust rank. Okay, so question. If I rub Tubby, will it grant me three wishes? Oh my god. What are you talking about? Tubby's not a genie. Okay, okay. I was just thinking, you know, magic lamp, magic teapot. So anyway, how do we increase trust rank with Tubby then? <laughs> Whenever we create new furnishings, Tubby's trust increases. Mm. Moreover, with the help of the teapot spirit, 
We'll collect uh, various we need to collect from materials. sources. Oh boy. Once we've collected the necessary materials for grinding, the we can make those furnishings in the Serena teapot yes. and use them to decorate our home. The purpose of, course, of mining, though! Finally! <laughs> There's a purpose. I'd like an ornate glaze lily pattern incense burner. What? Really? <laughs> That's a super specific choice. Well, I'm a super specific guy. Mm. <laughs> anyway, this Serena teapot will be a large personal realm that players may manage. They can take their time considering how to decorate the space and how big is this update file gonna be? Like <laughs> I see. Okay. I don't think anyone uh, can then handle let's it. Some radiant grade <laughs> oh, Lucas Jade for starters. Okay, first of all, your standard of home is way too high. And that's wrong because. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what? You do you. You do you. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> well, if we are short of any practical decoration ideas, we can also apply to enter our friends realms for some inspiration. We can just stop by for a you visit and snap some nice photos. Ooh, that means we can Ooh, party in our personal realms. That'll be so you fun. You trying to steal anything from are my house and taking your ankles. On your ultra exclusive <laughs> guest list, Zach? <laughs> nope. Zach! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> you know, we're going from roughing it in the wild to luxurious house parties. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited for this one. Yeah, and the realms seem very large, too. Large enough to unleash oh. your imagination. Huh. Yeah, we can create views outside the house and arrange the layouts of furnishings. I don't, things I don't know how more furnishings into the Serena do. teapot. Yeah, we're I wonder what we could actually increases, do in there. Enabling the realm to produce more realm currency. So, more furnishings increase adeptal energy. I like the sound of that. Okay. I knew you'd like that. So, oh with God. this new realm currency you mentioned comes a new way of exchanging it, I suppose? That's right. Oh. We can exchange realm currency for a variety of materials and rewards. Oh. And sometimes a teapot traveling salesman carrying realm treasures yeah. might appear. Yeah. Chubby. So be sure to check it out. <laughs> Tubby and chubby. <laughs> There's wow. already a lot on everyone's to-do list for this feature. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. there might be even more to come in the future. Let's wait and see what the Serena teapot holds for us in store together. I will. We need to invite more in the people. meantime, I will stuff my realm mm -hmm. with satisfying furnishings. All hmm. right, just please don't make Tubby work too hard. I won't. And as always, I'm sure the travelers will cover my expenses. Uh -huh. the wait, wait a minute. Exterior what? and the exterior. Well, I mean, with the Zongli together, always you being broke. Cover it. I don't have any. And I don't think oh, so. Okay, okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you should have seen your faces right then. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's all the news we have for the upcoming Serena Teapot feature. In the next section, we'll get to learn about some exciting events that will be exclusive to version 1.5. Okay. But now, it seems about time to give away our second redemption code. Screenshot. Yeah, more rewards. I'm like Practically speaking, the faster you act, the better. Goodies <laughs> inbound in three, a two, two, a one. one. Ba -ba I'm liking what I'm seeing now. This is good. This is gonna. This will probably be the best update we've seen in a long time. So I mean, we got the houses. I mean, we're gonna be able to get rewards from doing stuff with the houses. We got Tubby and Chubby. <laughs> oh Lord. Yeah, it looked good. I'm very, very excited for this. We got that Zongli rerun coming. We I got... expect them to uh, mm -hmm. like make our characters to be like chibi, so it doesn't actually interfere with the data. <laughs> nah, nah, they're making our characters actually look how they look. They're not doing chibi for them in the houses, so gonna be pretty crazy. But yeah, I think this update file is gonna be big. I mean, I have the PS5 update on the same day that the 1.5 update comes out, so it's gonna be a massive update. And then I'll do a video on doing the polls. So, you're you're we'll lucky, like. though, that you got the PS5 update, because they're going to change the cover. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. They're going to change that, that Welcome regular back, monster adventures. cover. It's time Finally. to unveil the special events coming in version 1.5. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, so first on the list is an Back event is. called Energy Amplifier Initiation. In this event, a Sumeru researcher will ask us to gather Irminsul fruit fragments. For a time, we'll be entrusted with a mysterious ancient relic, the Energy Amplifier. With this relic, we can unleash the power of the fragments we collect. During the event, this Energy Amplifier will grant us some effects in combat. The boss so really is literally amplifying our abilities. Speaking of ancient relics, I feel like Mr. Zhongli would know something about that. Mm -hmm. mm. What are you looking at me for? You know I'm not really Zhongli, right? Mm. 
Oh, he's definitely ugly. <laughs> I do happen to have some insight on the energy amplifier. For one, there are variations of how you can configure the fragments into the energy amplifier. One variable, motive force, affects how many fragments one can configure. The higher the sum of your character's levels, the higher motive force you can provide to the energy. Well, I have high-level characters. With so. higher motive force, <laughs> players will be able Same. to equip more high-quality fragments to strengthen their team. Good. What if I don't have enough characters at higher levels? As always, Zach, that's where your friends come in. Mm. You can borrow up to three characters from your friends to increase your motive force. You got that, Zach? Oh, friends. Then be like, what if I don't have friends? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> got it. Uh, so the question then I'm is... I'm just going to put down Amber. The and you're gonna enjoy there that. are plenty oh, of God. fragments spread all over the map. We'll search for the fragments in places of interest throughout the open world. But it won't be Look at that damn <laughs> as powerful as Earmansoul fruit fragments. Wow, God. To get you could have at least got a good traveler, Jesus. <laughs> before they're able to collect them. Ah, that makes sense. And we'll also be able to enter something called a twisted realm in the later phase of the event. Twisted mm. realm? Heck, Sounds realm like being split wide wide open. Open. <laughs> Not exactly. There are four domains in the twisted realm, and each has different bizarre twists. We'll be able to select the difficulty and conditions oh, for the domains we enter, the just as in the previous for... static symphony oh, event. Of course, higher difficulties will grant better rewards. Oh boy. Okay, so this will be one for players who are looking for. Some We're gonna have to do challenges. hardest difficulty with all the stuff on. And I should on. mention that a contract Ooh. with Diona, the bartender of Mondstadt, will be one of the various rewards from the event shop. Cool. Mm. It sounds like we can add her to our team by participating in all kinds of activities oh, well, from the event. I'll get a constellation. That's right. I guess. Go get her. <laughs> our next event to introduce is called Battlefront Misty mm. Dungeon. Puzzles. Huh? This sounds like a completely different kind of game. In this event, there will be six themed trials for us to complete, and we'll only be able to use characters from a set pool of trial characters from the event. Mm. Throughout the trials, our team will not form any elemental resonance. Mm. And food and potions in our inventory will also not be accessible. Uh, <laughs> now that sounds oh, tough. Uh, <laughs> but well, they wanted to give us a challenge. We can preview the monsters we'll be encountering, along with some corresponding tips and tasks. So, it is possible for us to choose characters that fit the conditions before we start. Nice, right? Yeah. Man, what the That's artifacts right. on these characters? Whew. So, what do we need to do to pass these oh trials? Oh my god, Amber. level 80 Amber. In each trial, players need Here, to activate god. all three of the ancient runes within the time limit to gain access to the final challenge. There are benediction mechanics with the trials, which allow players to obtain certain bonus effects and make it easier to complete the trials. At the same time, there are also some automated weapon systems that will detect and attack any intruders. Players will need to use the appropriate reactions to temporarily disable these devices. We're this seems like something way more difficult, though. I like it. Strategies. Totally. And I with like the rewards it. like Primo Gems, Mora, and other materials awaiting, it'll definitely be worth a shot. Mm -hmm. Primo Gems? Oh, I'm in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we gonna need them. Our next event is called Mimi Tomo. What? Sounds Hillichurlian? You nailed it. This event is about a certain unusual hilly churl we might encounter in various locations. I see. Beat the cabbage the out of them. The one that throws primo gems at players, right? <laughs> okay, to viewers who are searching for where you can find this unusual hilly churl right now, just know you can't actually use the primo gems it throws at you. Mm. Lately, this unusual hilly churl has been stirring up trouble on the merchant routes. It's time for us to teach it a lesson. I'm gonna kill him. But this hilly churl is not an easy one to trace. So oh we'll need to borrow some help from an expert. Perhaps you remember the hilly churlian expert, the Ella girl? Musk? Elon Musk. <laughs> yeah. Elon Musk. that little girl in the library? <laughs> so it's time for her to teach us a lesson. <laughs> yeah. We'll be utilizing the handy handbook of hilly churlian from her to oh communicate boy. with other hilly churls for intel on the whereabouts of this unusual hilly churl. That seems like fun, but I'm not sure I can memorize that much hilly churlian. Mm. You can write it down, Zach. Or you can take a screenshot. Oh, yeah, a screenshot. Wait, am I actually oh, going to have to? <laughs> the only Wait, question what? now is, how reliable is this handy handbook of Hilly Churlian? After oh, all, it God. has a disclaimer on its title oh, page saying it cannot God. be held responsible for any consequences language. of its I'm going to get all these things angry at me. Wait, so you're saying it could potentially do more harm than good? If that's oh, the case, we'll have to persuade the Hilly Churls by physical means. Yeah, just beat them. Now that's what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. It could be quite persuasive that way. That wouldn't be persuasion. Sure Wait, it is. Now I'm confused. 
we're talking about bribing them with some apples or something, right? No, beating them apples to a bloody pulp. Persuasion? Oh, apples. Yeah, yeah apples. <laughs> and now you're making me feel like I'm a bad person. Mm. <laughs> anyway, players will gain some furnishing blueprints, primo gems, and other rewards from the event. So be sure not to miss out on this one. Oh. Our next event is simply called Wind Trace. Mm. Personally, I'd like to call it Hide and Seek. All right. Sounds uh, fun. And in case you're wondering, Wind Trace actually originates from when ancient nobles were hunting for rebels in Mondstadt. Uh, okay. uh, let's play some prop hunt. <laughs> a little bit scary. Yeah, no worries, Zach. The more the merrier. Today it's transcended from its dark history, passing down only the names of the two sides, Hunter and Rebels. Oh, so what does a round of Wind Trace look like? I'm glad you asked, Zach. Players will be playing in contested zones. They will be allocated one of the oh two sides, God. the Hunter or the Rebels. The Rebels yeah. hide and the Hunter seeks. But there's more to it than just that. The rebels can use their windward arts to disguise themselves, place bait, or temporarily enter a hidden state. Yes, it's prop hunt. All right, sounds interesting. How about the hunter? What can they do? The hunter can use various arts to detect the location of the rebels and disable their tricks and disguises. So the two sides are really going at it then. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and during the game, favors will descend upon the area at random and both sides can pick up these favors to help charge up their own so-called secret favor. There are mm -hmm. five contested zones in the open world, so those who are familiar Listen, with Rez, all I'm the areas find you every time. will have some advantages. Nah, Good I'm gonna hide it. Treasure chest hunters yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, players will obtain wind trace coins from the event and unlock a variety of rewards. You never Listen, know. I'm gonna need fifty thousand prima gems card. from this whole mm -hmm. update. I, I right? might be in your closet. Co-op <laughs> mode with your friends. <laughs> Or if you've already reached the daily oh, wait, what? <laughs> I, what coins, I just processed what you said. <laughs> oh, I see. I hope you'll all enjoy this little game. Uh -huh. Our final event is called Overflowing Master. Okay, this is good. I like this. Hmm, we had ley line this overflow is what I before, need. Right? We need a lot That's of talent right. stuff. Only this time, we will have doubled talent level up materials. During the event, we will have three chances daily to collect double rewards using original resin from selected okay. domains of mastery. Can we get a resin if increase, mistaken, please? This is the first time we'll have an event that doubles talent level up materials. That's huge. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So if you need to grind for talent level up materials, this will be your chance. Mm -hmm. I bet everybody's going to love that. Yeah. All right. That's about all we have for the special events in version 1.5. Okay. As always, the last part of our version previews will be regarding new optimizations and adjustments coming to the game. Keith, would you like to explain the coming changes for version 1.5 to our viewers? Sure thing. Starting from version 1.5, the cost of original resin to claim rewards for the first three weekly bosses will be reduced from 60 to 30. Hallelujah. Okay, that's half the cost. Yeah. Thank you. And we'll have Thank a total of four God. Bosses. Thank you. So that means we'll be able to claim rewards from all the weekly like, bosses using a single day's they're resin. They're like, yeah, we're not going to yeah, increase we'll the, 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 the cap yet, but we'll do this for over. you. Oh, check you out, Sarah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next, after the version so remember, update, four companionship experience gained while playing in team with other players in co-op mode will be doubled. Huh? So, if we want to accelerate our friendship with some characters and learn more about their stories, we can defeat bosses or clear domains with other players in co-op mode. Wait, oh, is this yes. the friendship goes up? Need to remind me on yeah, the, the friendship of your character. Again. I'm a little sorry, Zach. <laughs> in co-op <laughs> mode. Of those. The third optimization will mm -hmm. be about mailing alerts for when events are ending. After the version update, Genshin Impact will send mail alerts to players before any limited time events end. Nice. Yeah, considering all the unique gameplay and loads of rewards from those limited time events, it would be a pity to miss them. Definitely. For players who are too busy to check the end time of each event, the mail alert will for sure come in handy. Good. Yeah, absolutely. Our last optimization coming in version 1.5 will be about slimming down the game's overall size. Oh, mm -hmm. that sounds kind of cool. With this optimization, players can manage the voiceover <laughs> files they okay. installed. If you no longer want to keep the audio Lisa, files for a mountain language, climber listeners, you can delete the corresponding <laughs> voiceover files manually. And that audio pack will not update in future version updates. Mm. I imagine that could save quite a bit of space. Yeah, I know definitely. audio files can be massive. Aww, yeah, they're saying that because this update's going to be huge. Voiceovers. No, don't delete us, please. Don't you want to hear more of me? Mm. Well, there's not much of us in there anyway. <laughs> oh, 
Well, okay, yeah. <laughs> I guess sure. it doesn't hurt that much when you put it that way. No, 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 it, it does hurt because Zhongli has a lot to say. So, mm. so please, keep, keep the English voice. <laughs> <laughs> if you like us, then please keep the English voiceovers, everyone. And on that note, it's time to release the third redemption code to our loyal viewers. Yes. Yay! Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Screenshot. Go! All right, there we go. So what, we got 300 primos from this thing? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not spending any prima gems on anything until this update. I gotta stack up so many prima gems, dude. Oh, uh, man. Okay, well, we're getting new art. Wait, what happened? Who are you gonna go for? Um. Both. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean it, it gets tricky because the issue is, is okay, the ice girl's called Eula, right? Yeah. Eula comes out second, and the issue with that is, I'm close to getting a five star. <laughs> and Zong uh... Lee and the other girl come out first. So I'm like, uh. Uh, that's pitiful. I mean, I'll take another Zong Li, you know? A Constellation 1 would be cool, but... We'll see what happens. Hopefully I won't have to result to pull in too much. But we'll see. I mean, he can go for the weapon banner. It depends on what it is. For the- Because we don't know what it is for the Zong Li one, do we? Uh... It's about time to wrap up the show. Ooh, time really flew by. Yeah, I know, right? How did you like your first special program, Sarah? I've loved being here with you guys. It's so special and fun. Plus, the twins got to be reunited, <laughs> even if it was only for a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. I really hope that they'll invite me for more special programs in the future because this was super fun. Yeah, I hope so too. A and how about you, Keith? How did you like doing the special program? Are you kidding? I love this. I mean, what's better than being able to make all of these announcements? I mean, everyone's so hyped to find out what's in store, and uh, we get to be the people to share that with them. So, uh, it's amazing. Plus, I am looking forward to spending quite a bit of time in the Serena teapot. Mm. Yeah, me too. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching the Genshin Impact version 1.5 special program, everyone. All right. And I hope you all have fun in your teapots. Hmm. Bye, everybody. See you in version 1.5. So, April 28th. In, everyone. Take care. All Bye. right. That was good. <laughs> Are you still there? Huh? Yes. I was hoping you'd still be there because we have an extra special surprise for you. What? What? Check Check this out. <laughs> Anazuma location sneak peek. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Uh... So this is what Anazuma's gonna look like, huh? Oh wow. Ooh. Oh wow. So that means what? It's probably gonna be 1.6 Anazuma, huh? Yeah. I like the concept art. I do. Oh, wow. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that looks sick. Alright. Thank that's, you, Keith. Right not there. that Keith, but this Keith. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're not talking about me. But, um... Yeah, it looked good. This this was very, very good. I'm happy with this. We got the houses finally. We got the two new characters, Zong Li rewon, uh, rerun. Um, we got a bunch of, of like little mini events they're going to be having for us. They look like they're going to be more challenging than the other ones, which is good because everybody's been saying we want stuff that's actually difficult, you know? Um, yeah, that's good. I'm, I'm very happy with this. <clears throat> Only thing is, Oh my god, I'm with the Prima Gems, man. I gotta rack up the Prima Gems. I got like 23, 2400 Prima Gems right now. I gotta rack up as many as I can. And then I gotta, uh, I'll make the videos on rolling for the characters. So, for y'all that have watched this video, thank you very, very much for watching. Appreciate it. Um, let me know what characters you guys are gonna be rolling for, and I'll bring it to res right now. What'd you like about it? You liked everything about it? Everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It was very good. And they showed us Inazuma, which is a good sign. A very good sign. So Inazuma- hey, that's an Electro Archon. Mm-hmm. Inazuma 1.6, looks like it. Um, but yeah, I think that's just about it. I'm very hyped for it. Expect a lot more Genshin content on the channel. I'm starting to do that little by little. So you'll see it way more frequently. 
but yeah be sure to hit the like button subscribe please do comment and let me know what you think join the discord server in the, dis in the description box below and follow me on twitch where I, I stream live you know and other than that appreciate you guys and as always don't do crack